morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. I'm heading off to America in literally one and a half days and I've done no packing at all. So I thought it would be fun to take you along with me while I pack. I'm going to show you everything that I'm packing to go to America. Maybe you'll get some outfit inspo for spring. Maybe you'll get some inspo for how to pack if you're going on a trip. And I also want to show you what I take in my carry-on bag. So all of the things that I actually take onto the plane with me because the flight is nine hours long and I've had a lot of people question me over the last few months about what I actually take on a plane and what I do on the plane for the nine hours because it is a long time. People who've got long haul flights coming up always ask. So let's take you along for the ride. I'm probably going to look a little less put together when I next see you but I was just filming <laughs> something for a different video that's coming up soon. Slight plot twist. I have just had a phone call from the doctor and they can fit me in for my B12 injection which I have to have every three months. They can only fit me in tomorrow at a specific time they've only got one appointment it interfered with my nail appointment so I was like okay I'll cancel my nail appointment but I just looked on the website and she has availability for today so I'm actually not gonna pack right now we are gonna go get nails done and I think I want some sort of like periwinkle blue shade or like a lavender I'm excited they are gonna be pretty short though because I've not had gel on for a couple of weeks and they've just been breaking we've deglammed very quickly <laughs> I literally look like I'm wearing my pajamas but I'm not their sweatpants anyways it's worked out well because I could take my returns back without having to do them last minute tomorrow. I actually didn't go for a periwinkle or a lavender shade. When I got to the salon, I saw this like blue aqua and I was really vibing with that so that is what I went with. Then the next morning I headed into town, did a couple more returns and then I went to have my last massage on my legs after my lipoedema surgery. I've been having them weekly but this was my last one before flying to the US and had my B12 at the doctor's. It might scare you. You brave boy. Oh, that wasn't very brave now. I am back to pack this case. This case has been causing me so much stress for the last two days because normally I pack so far in advance, so I'm just ready and I don't have to stress about it. But it's 12 o'clock the day before I fly and I haven't even started yet. But I actually wanna go through all of the items that I'm gonna put in my case, like every single thing pretty much. Maybe I'll leave like personal things like underwear out of this. For the most part, I'm gonna be showing you everything that I take in my case. And I think we should start off with smaller things like t-shirts, bralettes, things like that. Now I'm trying to keep my packing to a minimum because I always massively overpack. So the first top we've got is this puff sleeve top that I got from ASOS. I will of course link everything down below that I can find by the way because a lot of this stuff is newer so this is the first top white and pink and stripey very cute next up we've got this crop top from Primark which I absolutely love not in my color palette but does that matter no it doesn't because I like it and then the last top that we've got is one that Cam actually got me for Christmas from Levi's this is like a sage greeny one with blue and cream flowers on and it's very very cute especially tucked into jeans so those are the three t-shirt tops that I'm going to be taking and then have a couple of bralettes that I want to take. I've got this white one from Primark and a black one from Primark as well. They are just so easy to throw on. It is going to be warmer in Nashville than it has been here. It's getting up to probably like 25 degrees ish. So these are really good for that kind of weather. Both from American Eagle. I've just got this white one and then I've got a green and white one. And one of my favorite outfits actually is this with a bralette with jeans and Birkenstocks. These ones that I'm wearing today. I'm also so taking a blazer for Cam. I gave her this mint green one that I have and I absolutely love it and I want it back. So I'm doing a trade with her. I've said she can have this pink one because she loves this. It just isn't my vibe anymore. So this is from Zara. It is absolutely gorgeous and it suits her so well. So she can have this. Next up, let's talk about jumpers. So the first jumper I've got is my new favorite jumper in the whole world. It's this lilac one. This was from ASOS. And honestly, if they did this in all of the colors of my summer palette, I would buy it. It's the the perfect oversized fit and it's got really tight cuffs so the cuffs don't go over your hands like these ones do they're super tight around your arm and it just creates this really nice baggy arm. By the way, I'm not trying any of these on in this video because when I get to America, I want to do a video where Cam picks my outfits for a week. And obviously this is what I'm taking. So I feel like she's going to have to pick a lot of this. Also going to take this white one. This was from Cotton On in America. And then I've got two Taylor Swift jumpers. I've got mine. It says long live all the mountains we moved. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. And it's white. Then I've got one for Cam that says 
the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead and it's got the scream face mask on. These will be in an upcoming video that you're going to see probably the next video. Let's talk about the one black outfit that I'm going to take. I've got my leather trousers that I absolutely adore and I just can't not take them. And then I've got this cardigan, which just has one little button on it and it's so flattering. It makes my boobs look amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to take this because we are going to have a couple of nights out and black is just my go-to for a night out. It makes me feel really dressed up. Okay, now moving on to trousers. This isn't even a trouser. It's actually a denim skirt. So it's like a midi length, super duper nice. This was from ASOS as well. Again, I will link all of these items if I can find them in the down bar. That is a staple for spring and summer. Then we have this blue pair of jeans with a ripped leg. A lot more of like a periwinkle lilac blue than this pair. But these are the two pairs that I'm going to be taking. These are Tommy Hilfiger mum jeans and they're a lot baggier. These are a lot tighter. So they're the two pairs of jeans. If I've got enough weight allowance, I'm going to take these ones as well with the heart pocket on the back. I normally pack jeans in my carry-on because they are the most weighty items. And with British Airways, your carry-on can actually be the same weight as your main one. So up to 25 pounds. So I try and pack all the heavy stuff in it. Then the last two things that I'm taking will also be in an upcoming video. You'll see me try them on. But this is a beautiful dress from Oliver Bonus. And this is a beautiful jumpsuit from Oliver Bonus. Those are all the clothes that I'm taking. Let me talk you through my airport outfit though. So for my airport outfit, we are going with this gray set from Bershka. And then over the top of that, I am going to be wearing my new lilac coat, which I got on sale down from £100 to 26 So run to get this if it's still available, because honestly, this is my favourite thing for spring. It's my favourite item of clothing. Can I just say, 2015 me would be shook with the clothes that I've shown in this video, because I literally only used to wear black. And now it's like an explosion of colour. That's everything that I'm taking with me, clothing-wise. So let's get this packed into packing cubes. I have these ones from Away, which is the same brand that does my suitcase and they fit perfectly in the case. They're really sturdy. I did get some from Primark, but actually the zip came undone, you know, when it does that, when it's not like amazing quality. These away ones, I've packed them so full, like way too full, and the zips have never done that. They are definitely more pricey, but if you want longevity, I would get these. Wait a second, I forgot to show you handbags and belts and shoes. So these are the two belts that I'm taking. They're just from Primark, a skinny brown one and a skinny black one. I want to try and find some belts with silver hardware while I'm in America. They'll probably have some good ones on sale somewhere. Bag wise, we are taking three. So I'm taking my cream mulberry with silver hardware. I love this bag. It's so pretty. And this goes with all the pastel clothes that I'm packing. Next up, we have got a Uniqlo knockoff from TikTok shop. Looks like this when it's on, obviously full of stuff though. Yeah, I really like this for every day. It's just super easy to throw on and go. And then I have this one as well, black with silver hardware. This one, I feel like you could wear it as a belt bag. You could tuck this through and like wear it as a belt bag, a fanny pack. You can also wear it the same way that I wore the other. And I think this one looks quite cool. So taking this as well, where was this from? Gosh, I'm not sure. It just says genuine leather. So I don't actually know. It's a great bag. Let's get packing. Shoes. Can you tell I'm in a flap today? Okay, shoes. We have two pairs of trainers that I am taking. I'm wearing these ones on the plane. These are Adidas, unsure of the number of them. I'm not cool enough to know like all the names and numbers of trainers, but they're just white with blue on them. They go with all my outfits. These ones only go with a few outfits. And I actually got these from Shoe Kids. So if you buy the same ones in an adult size, they cost 90 pounds. But in Shoe Kids, they were 55 and they go up to a size five. I'm actually a size 4.5. And in the kids section, they don't do 0.5 sizes, but a five is fine. So I got these like navy with pink on them. Then, oh my gosh, okay. So I already have a black pair of Birkenstocks in America. We have this pink pair, green pair, tan pair. Now I think I'm gonna leave this green pair for the UK and I'm gonna take the tan pair and the pink pair. I think they go the best with my outfits. And I also wanna take these Birkenstocks, which are very different to these, as you can see. Two very different styles. I feel like I'm not taking as much as I normally take, but then my suitcase always ends up so heavy anyway from toiletries and stuff. So I'll ditch some shoes if I have to. Now let's pack. 
Oof, look at this little montage of me packing clothes like an absolute pro. Anyone would think I'd worked in a clothing shop, and maybe that's my calling in life. Because I actually find folding clothes really relaxing. I love doing the laundry, which I know a lot of people hate to do. Anyways, enjoy this little montage, and then we will get back to packing the rest of my stuff. Here is where we're at with the cases. So I've got all my clothes packed in here. And then in my carry-on, I've got my jeans and some shoes. But now it's time to do toiletries, electronics, underwear, hair tools, things like that. I'm actually gonna wash my hair tonight, so I'm not gonna put those in, but I'm gonna take my straighteners and my curlers. <laughs> Let's talk through all of my toiletries. So I've got a couple of things at Cam's house anyway, like conditioner, body wash, things like that. But I always take my own simple makeup wipes because they're kind of hard to find in America. I also take my first aid beauty cleanser. Now these products are like my tried and true. So if you want recommendations, basically just all of this. I've got a little mini Philip Kingsley elasticizer hair mask. My auntie Sue got this for me and it's actually a lipstick holder, but I put cotton buds in it. So I always have a little supply if I need them. I've got a tanning mitt and actually I forgot to put my fake tan in here but I use Bondi Sands Dark and I'll remember that before I go. <laughs> then I've got my shampoo which is KMS Head Remedy Deep Cleanse Shampoo. We've got a little collab dry shampoo. I've got my moisturizer Clinique Moisture Surge 100 hours. I've got these little nail cuticle clipper things. This is hair oil that I've decanted. I can't remember which one I'm using right now but just any hair oil really and this is the Philip Kingsley leave-in conditioner that I've also decanted. A Vino hand cream. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is the moisturizer that I wear underneath my fake tan. I have got my perfume, Lancome Livia Belle. Love that. Skin and Me Vitamin C Serum. Then I have a couple. There's another one somewhere, but I've got a couple of my Skin and Me Daily Defense Oil Free SPF 50 sunscreen. And also my Daily Doser. Don't go anywhere without it. Revitalash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner that helps grow your lashes. A little pair of scissors that I got from Muji. I've got a hair clip, some hair grips as well. I have my refill of my fussy deodorant. I love the coconut milk scent. It smells so good. I'm going to obviously put my deodorant and my toothbrush and stuff like that in in the morning. Then the last thing that I've got in here are some samples. I actually bought a lip oil from Clarins the other day when they had 10% off and they gave me a bunch of samples. So I'm just taking them, probably use them at some point. So yeah, that is all my toiletries. Need to remember to put my fake tan in. In fact, I'm going to go get that now. Here we go. Bondi Sands Dark Tanning Foam. Moving on to makeup, I've got this bag, which was from Primark. I actually bought a bunch of bags from Sustwene Glenne, however you pronounce that, and I can't find them anywhere. They were like the perfect travel bags. I've looked in every drawer, just can't find them. But anyways, in this front pocket, I have my contact lenses. I've got this NARS eyeshadow palette in Summer Unrated. It's like more orangey tones. Got a couple of nail polish that I'm going to use on my toes while I'm there. This is Lovey Dovey and this is Lilacism. I've got this, which I bought last time I went to the airport. It's the Pillow Talk Beauty Light One Face Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury and I love it. It works as a blush and a highlighter on me when I'm pale and it's so nice. Got my Laura Mercier powder, this Glossier highlighter in Moonstone, a nail file, got my MAC Prep and Prime, and two MAC Studio Radiance Foundations, Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Cream, Eyebrow Pencils, Clinique Black Honey Lipstick, another eyeshadow palette, the MAC Unfiltered Nudes, more of a cool toned one, I love this. Got my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, two MAC concealers, again in different shades. I've got a Hula bronzer stick and a MAC mascara. Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette. I've got a bit of a darker concealer, Maybelline Instant Age Eraser Eye. Then I've got this gorgeous lipstick from Chanel. It's the shade Boy 54. I'm taking actually, I don't know why, but I'm taking a bunch of like blue eyeliners. I feel like maybe at some point I'll wear them. I've got my Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss. Got my Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Whoppin' Watermelon. 
Lemon and my Clinique blush in Amped Up Apple. Then I've just got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Lip Liner and another mascara from L'Oreal. I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes tonight so they'll be ready for my trip. So yeah, let's go through everything in my bag. So first of all, this is the July Everyday Large Tote Bag. And I did an in-depth review of it in a different vlog. So I'll leave that as a link below if you're interested in this bag. It's definitely the best bag I've found this far. I've tried like five different carry-on bags and none of them have been as good as this one, but there are still things I would change if like I made the perfect bag. So in this front pocket, I've got my headphones. And then on here, I've just got a hair clip. First things first, let's talk about electronics. So in here, this was from Sustreen Green. I have got my iPad. And then in the back pocket as well, I've got my laptop. These are two necessities for me. Then I've got this little contraption that I'm trying for the first time. It's basically a footrest for the plane. The plane ride is nine and a half hours. It's a long time to be stuck in a tiny little economy seat. So I'm going to give this a go. I've got my Kate Spade purse. So glittery. Let's get into the fun bits. So this is my tech bag. I've got a little tripod for my phone in case I want to film. I've got a battery pack for my phone. This is a staple. And I've also got this, which holds my little microphones that I'm using nowadays on my phone. And then we've got my clear bag, wet wipes, a couple of spare contact lenses, hand sanitizer. This is a lip oil from Clarins and eye drops, just things that need to go through the scanner in a clear bag. The next little bag that I've got is this one. This has all my medication in that I'm taking to America. I always keep that on me because you don't know if your cabin bag is gonna get lost or anything. And then I've got this bag and this is like my necessities bag. So I've got tissues, mints. I've got my loop headphones to block noise out. I've got a little mirror, some hair ties, a little hair clip if I want that one. And I've got these mini toothbrushes from Colgate. They already have like toothpaste built into them. And then I've got these, which are tiny, tiny little washcloths. And then the last things in here are my other headphones and some more tissues. You can never have enough tissues. Gosh, it's getting hot. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I'm probably going to film a fly with me to America. So look out for that video. And I also have a what I spend in a week coming your way. Anyways, I hope this video was informative to those of you who are going to fly soon. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.